All right, guys, now that we're back here, what we're going to do is we're going to need to get another piece of software real quick. So we're going to go ahead and click Disconnect, all right? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open the Internet up, go back to our website, all right? And here's what we're going to do next. All right, so what we're going to do is we are going to go back to our um, FPV Professor page, uh, to our downloads, and we're going to want to go to the BL Heli Suite right here. So go ahead and click this link. All right, now what we're gonna be using on here is we're gonna be using the BL Heli Suite, uh, the first one right here. So the rest of these, this is for Linux, this is for Mac, and this is for 32-bit uh, ESC on a Windows PC. You're using Windows PC most likely, but we're running a 16-bit uh, ESC. So we're gonna download this package right here. And this will take you up to your Mediafire download page. So just hang tight. Um, it is a legitimate download, so we're going to wait, and then we're going to come over here to this blue square right here, and we're going to click it. You can close that advertisement. Here's our download right here. So you can see it says BL Heli Suite right here. So we're going to go ahead and show it in the folder. Okay, so there's our BL Heli Suite. So let's go ahead and right click on it and left click on Extract All. Click Next. All right, once that's done, we're gonna see our folder here. And you can, see, you can see this icon right here. This is the BL Heli icon. I have it right here because I've already loaded the program. But you're gonna to wanna to put this, create a shortcut somewhere because this stays, this runs within the folder in your downloads folder. So when you click on it, and you double click it, it's gonna open the BL Heli Suite program. This is the program you use to, to program your ESC, okay? So what we wanna do is, let's go ahead and open that up. Now, you cannot click connect. You cannot do anything because you don't have it set up yet and you have to have a battery in order to make this work. But here's the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do. You should have a port in here at the bottom. See where it says tool stick? All right, but that's not gonna work because we don't have it set to use USB. So I want you to come up to the top here where it says select uh, Atmel or SI Labs interface. And I want you to go and go to the, you can pick either one, but we wanna basically go to the one that says clean flight. Either one, it'll automatically correct itself if you don't pick the right one, but you have to pick clean flight version, okay? So click that. All right, and now you can see you have a COM port here. So you're gonna drop down until you see your COM port. And then we're gonna click Read Setup. Okay, so what you notice right there is it can't read it because we don't have a battery hooked in yet. So now what I want you to do is I want you to take your battery and I want you to plug your battery into your drone, okay? Just like this, and I'll show you what I'm doing here. I'm using a, um, I'm using a DC power supply, but you're going to get the same thing from it, okay? And let me go ahead and move this camera off the screen. There we go. All right. Now, when you turn your bat, when you plug your battery in, uh, go ahead and click disconnect here. By the way, if it doesn't say disconnect already, there you go. Now, when you turn on, listen to what the motors are going to do. That tone right there means you did it right, okay? I'm going to turn this off real quickly because there's one thing I want to show you ahead of time before we get too involved in this. You want to make sure that your video transmitter, which is this second board here, is not on when you do this because it'll just start getting super, super hot. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to go ahead, and if you've screwed on the top plate already, you're going to go ahead and take the screws off and unscrew the top plate so you can reach the plug and unplug the VTX, okay? You've got to keep that unplugged. So I'm gonna just remove these screws real quickly. I'm gonna very carefully, so I don't rip any wires out, I'm gonna very carefully remove the top cover so that I can disconnect the video transmitter and not fry here. I'll give you a better picture, bigger picture of this. Here you go. 
okay, and not fry the video transmitter because it's gonna start getting very, very hot while the drone is sitting here powered on. So let's take the top plate, just kind of move it, and you see that plug right there? Just unplug it, just very carefully pull that out. See, just like that, okay? That's your VTX on top, just take the power plug out of that. You can just put the top plate back on just like that, all right? Now when we plug this in, we know it's not gonna start overheating. Now let's get back to what we were doing. So we're here now, we're gonna go ahead and power up our drone and listen for those motors to chime. Excellent. Now when we click on the screen, when we click read setup, okay, it's, well these are SI Labs, but it's gonna start finding, you click okay, it'll switch over to SI Labs and look at that. It already found everything and it's numbered them for you and so forth. And these numbers correlate to the numbers that we saw on the, mo on the motor diagram, where it was one, two, three, four. So what we wanna do here is the purpose of BL Heli is to upgrade the firmware on the flight control, on the ESC. So we're going to, once we have this done, we're gonna go ahead and click um, Flash BL Heli right here. And it's gonna give you the version of firmware it needs. You can just click okay. Click yes, and there it goes. And we're gonna do that four times for all four ESCs, okay? So that'd take just a second, shouldn't be too bad. That's ESC number one is done. Now let's go to ESC number two. Okay, and then we're gonna to go to ESC number three. What those dialog boxes are asking me is if I wanna write everything to the ESC and the answer is yes. So just make sure you click yes. All right, and then we have one more ESC. Awesome. So now our ESC is done. So yes, we want to write that. Okay. And everything's looking great now. So far, so good. Everything has come out well. So what we want to do now is this is where it gets, we got to be, pay very close attention. We're going to stop here, but we're going to disconnect first and we're going to turn the power off. So pay attention real quickly what we're going to do to end this. First thing we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and click disconnect. Okay. And then we're going to un turn the power off or unplug your power. Unplug your battery, and we're going to unplug the USB, okay? And we're going to leave it just like that, and we're going to come back in a second, we're going to calibrate the motors and the ESCs, and then we're going to go ahead and close it down. So I'll be right back.